one. This is a hot one. Hear all about it. Hear all about it. Hot one. The war of Spider-Man continues. Shall Spider-Man live through this battle as we know him to be? Could you know? This is a hot one. Hear all about it. Hear all about it. United Comics Universe. A universe for fans. From pages to pictures. We are comics. Is there any way Sony and Marvel can reach a Spider-Man deal? This is coming from CBR.com. That's CBR.com. An article written by Anthony Gramuglia. This is on August 21st. 2019. For the moment, it looks like Tom Holland's Spider-Man is exiting the Marvel Cinematic Universe following Spider-Man Far From Home. Although, there are conflicting reports about who left the bargaining table first. Disney, Marvel Studios' parent company, and Sony reportedly couldn't come to an agreement. Although the precise nature of the impasse, financing, and profit splits, or Kevin Feige's workload, isn't clear. Faced with the prospect of a Spider-Man free MCU, fans have cried out against the deal and studio's failure to come to terms. However, there's still a chance that Spider-Man might not be gone from the MCU forever, in the same way that director James Gunn was given another chance to direct Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 after being dismissed from the project last year. It's possible that Disney and Sony could reverse <coughs> excuse me. It's possible that Disney and Sony could reverse course on the deal. Most of the specifics of the deal remain undisclosed. However, the following is for sure true. Sony owns the cinematic rights to Spider-Man as it has since 1999. The two Spider-Man movies that Sony co-produced with Marvel, Spider-Man coming from Spider-Man Homecoming and Spider-Man Far From Home, made far more money than previous installments and the presence of Tom Holland's Peter Parker in Marvel produced films was mutually beneficial for both studios. While Sony initially received a massive amount of criticism for its decision to back out the talks, Later reports indicated that negotiations are ongoing. While Sony's response to the end of the deal seemed to blame Marvel, it nevertheless expressed a willingness to, to revisit the matter. In this statement, Sony said the deal collapsed because of the increasingly full plate of Marvel Studios president, Kevin Feige. We hope this might change in the future, but understand that the many new responsibilities that Disney has given him including all their newly added Marvel properties, do not allow time for him to work on IP they do not own, the statement read. While this may seem like doom and gloom, it indicates that Sony very publicly has expressed a willingness, a willingness to work with Disney. In all likelihood, each studio is using fans to exert public pressure on the other. News on Tuesday of the unraveling of the four-year-old co-production agreement, the topic trended across social media. Everyone had a reaction, a loud one, and much of the ear was directed in Sony for reporting backing out of the deal. However, Sony's response pushed the blame back on Marvel. All of this happens just before Spider-Man Far From Home's theatrical release and before the weekend's D23 Expo, the official Disney fan convention at which Marvel Studios will have a presentation. Those are two important moments for both studios, as the former will lead Sony even more money. Far From Home is already its top grossing film, while the latter is an opportunity for Marvel to shed more light on its Phase 4 slate. Neither studio wants to cede ground in this standoff, and so public pressure may be the last weapon remaining. Judging by the narrative on social media, Disney is winning, and Sony's statement could be viewed as defense against public criticism. Guardians of the Galaxy director James Gunn was dismissed from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 last summer after years-old distasteful moments or distasteful comments resurfaced. 
resurfaced. Although Disney stood by its decision for months, the company eventually related, relented, and rehired Gunn in mid-March. While it might seem as though Disney made a decision it regretted, Marvel reportedly never considered anyone else to direct Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Already, as with the Gunn situation, MCU actors are starting to respond. Jeremy Renner released an Instagram post begging Sony to renegotiate with Marvel. On the whole, Disney itself has been relatively quiet about the whole ordeal. While there's public pressure to keep Spider-Man in the MCU, it's focused primarily on Sony. The, stu the studio has already indicated there's a glimmer of hope for an agreement. Disney has yet to release a statement. Negotiations reportedly are ongoing, but fans have already made their displeasure with the dissolution known on social media. All of those tweets and posts could be used by either side to make a case for a new agreement. Granted, such a deal could take years to come about, but they came to terms in 2015 as unconventional as they may have been, so it's certainly possible they can do so again. It's Jonin show here. Well, let's see. My opinion on this is it looks like they may ultimately renegotiate. I hope so, because that would be like answering the fans. You know, giving us what we need. You know, giving us uh, more of what we invested in already and already appreciate without worry of the unknown or unpredictable that may come about by uh, Sony completely retaking over Spider-Man. We don't know what direction they would go in. But however, if it stays with Marvel Studios, Kevin Feige, we know for sure we'll get more of what we love. UCU family members, United Comics Universe. This is Jonin's show. And we are comics.